I did a small experiment. So, I wanted to see how much damage you could take without dying. And it gets a little bit crazy. And I, I tested this using fall damage. I started with this little ladder of 23 blocks. And this height will let you survive with a half heart. This button makes it a little bit easier to get to that height. I don't even know why I put it here. Feather Falling 4 is the first bit of protection that I added in, and it lets you fall 19 more blocks without dying. Adding protection to the boots adds an extra 18 blocks. Now instead of just boots, there's the rest of the armor which you will probably have by this time. And it will let you drop 103 blocks. Now, it's very possible that you're not taking any fall damage, which is why I made an extra little test for anything that uh, doesn't include fall damage. And you can only fall 59 blocks if you don't have prop 4. Of course, once you start using potion effects it changes up. A beacon, which is the only way to get resistance because apparently there's no basic resistance potion, will let you fall 129 blocks. And a resistance 2 beacon will let you fall 40 more blocks. If we swap out the boots for regular protection for boots, we can only fall 97 blocks, which is still a lot. The next step is resistance 3, which is from the Turtle Master Potion. And you click the button and you drink it. You get slowness, but you also forgot to put the feather falling boots back on. And you can survive 256 blocks and not die. The final step is resistance 4. So if I hit the button, you can survive 503 blocks. Finally, there's resistance 4 with regular protection armor. If we hit the button, we can only survive 281 blocks, but that's still a lot. So if you are ever wondering how much damage you could survive in Minecraft, there's a little bit of pointers. And if you have food or totems, then you can survive a lot more because if you have a totem, you don't die. So just a, just a quick video. Um, see you around.